All right, God bless you. Let me do this. Let me do this. Uh, there is a a new. Well, I don't know how new it is, but the Bible speaks about doctrines of devils. Jesus said, "Beware of false doctrine." The Bible says, if they bring you in the other gospel, let him be a curse. The Bible says, if they don't bring this doctrine, don't let him in your house, neither bid him God's speed. For he that bid him God's speed is a partaker of his evil deeds. The Bible says, withdraw yourself from every brother that walk a traitor to the doctrine. The Bible says to know them that labor among you who labor in word and doctrine. This is my second time I've heard this statement twice. I heard it once from a brother at our church. And of course I challenge it. I heard it again yesterday. I had to go to a, a meeting and the chapman made a statement and, it, and like I say I heard it before in our church and I challenged it and so the chapman made the statement and, and another man of God challenged it this is the new well I don't know how new but this is doctrine of devil here it is This doctrine says the Bible do not mean what it say. That's what this doctrine of devils say. That's what, the, that's what the false doctrine say. The Bible do not mean what it say. They say when you read the Bible, it's your, in other words, it's your interpretation of what it's saying. That's the new thing now. Let me give you an example. Let me turn to Romans. Romans 3.28. I'm going to give you an example. Therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Now the new doctrine is it really don't mean that. That's just your interpretation of what it means. That's the new devil. Well, that's the devil doctrine. The Bible don't mean what it say. It don't mean what it say. That's just your what you read is your interpretation of what it says. That is the new devil doctrine. Well, that's devil doctrine. Once again, the devil's doctrine, the Bible don't mean what it says. What you read in scripture, it don't mean that. That's just your interpretation. And it goes to say, well, the Bible been translated thousands of times and blah, blah, blah. I challenge any of you educated food preachers. Got all your degree, you scholar, you theologian. I challenge you to get me one translation of scripture that don't mean what it say. See, interpretation means language. If I'm if I don't speak Spanish, I need someone to interpret what someone speaking Spanish is saying. That's what interpretation means. But the Bible, God's word, all scripture given by inspiration of God. And it have the same meaning. I don't care what, what, I don't care if you get me Hebrew, Greek, Chinese, every language of the world. Get me the Bible in every language. 
and show me the different meaning. Show it to me. Where well, the reader take the Hebrew and Aramaic. Get me the Hebrew and Aramaic or any other version you want to get. Get it and show it to me. And show me it got a different meaning for what wrote. Show it to me. Yeah, I know the gay Bible got a different meaning because they done took from what it I know about the gay Bible. I know about the Catholic that add to scripture. Wait a minute, the Bible says, don't add, don't take away. Even in the Old Testament, don't add, nor take away. So devil, Satan, bishop, you said, what you read in the Bible, it don't mean what it says. It's just your interpretation of what it says. You are a liar, Satan. You are a liar. That's the new doctrine. Beware. I give you a challenge. Get me in the scripture. Get me in translate. You want to get me and show me a guy different meaning. The Bible means what it say. Then they say you can't take the Bible literally. That's the other Satan. That's Satan talking. Cause they say what the Bible say. If you if your eye feel you pluck it out, it cuts the hand off. Do you cut the hand off? Well, you read that script and see what it talk about. Don't commit adultery with your eye. Don't lust in your heart. That's what they're saying. Beware of the devil doctrine. That creeping up in the tent. Beware. And. Yeah. The God will put down everything else. Ain't nothing right but Jesus. Every other religion. Every other nomination. Every other gospel is wrong. And we're going to say it's wrong. So beware of this doctrine of the devil. Talk about the Bible and mean what it's saying. And you can't take a little. It's just your interpretation. That's a doctrine of the devil. All right. God bless you. Thank you for being